Hello everyone, this is Terry Barnett with My Florida Regional MLS. And what I'm going to go over in this session is to show you how any search results can be converted into mailing labels. So in one of the previous sessions, I had done a, a quick search for foreclosures in Lake County, filed in the last so many days, and I clicked on the search results. So here I have the results in IMAP. Any result screen can be converted into mailing labels. So right over here to the right hand side, you simply click on create mailing labels. Then you're going to decide who they're going to go to. So depending on the search you did is what choices you're going to have. In this case, since it's foreclosure, defendant is the default answer to that. I can actually replace that first line with some special verbiage if I want to. I personally don't use those, but I don't want to waste any mail out. So these two are going to be important. Remove duplicate labels based on unique address. I don't want to send out 10 of something. If an investor owns 10 properties in the neighborhood, I don't want to send out 10 of something. I only personally want to send out one. That's up to you. And then if something's going to get returned because it's got an invalid zip code, I don't want to waste that stamp. So I'm going to go ahead and check that little box there to keep any labels that are invalid off of my list. And then I'm going to make the choice of how I want my labels to come out of the system. Do I want them to come out in PDF format? Do I want to receive a Word document? Or do I want it to download a CSV file, which could be opened in Excel for me? Any of, uh, any of these are appropriate depending on your needs. If you want just a static layout labels that you're going to use over and over and over again, the Adobe Acrobat Reader method might be appropriate. If you want something that's editable, Word or the CSV Excel format might be something that's more appropriate for your needs. In my case, I'm just going to go ahead and pick one of these. In this example, I'm going to go ahead and pick the Adobe Acrobat Reader version because I know that there is an item that I want to educate you on. So we're going to go ahead and click on Generate Labels. Notice that my labels came up down here in the lower left-hand corner. I happen to be using Google Chrome, so that's why you see this down here. Your browser might be slightly different, but I'm going to go ahead and open these labels, and here you can see it instantly created my labels for me. So I have several pages of labels. In this case, the example was to these foreclosure, to these defendants for in foreclosure. Whenever you get ready to print the PDF format of these files, you want to make sure that whenever you go to your printer, so I'm going to come down here as though I'm going to print this, when you get to the point where you're about ready to print it out on your 5160 labels, you want to make sure that you uncheck fit to page. Why did you want to uncheck fit to page? Because I want you to look at this document over here on the right. This is the preview of what it's going to print out at. If it says fit to page, notice it just shrank. Okay, watch this. Click, 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 click. If you have it on fit to page, which is actually a default setting, it's going to shrink your labels so they don't quite fit as they're formatted. But the thing is, is IMAP already formatted these labels to fit perfectly on your 5160 labels. So what we have to do to resolve that is to uncheck fit to page, and then you should have a more accurate printing of your labels. All right, so I hope this helped you. You should now know how to convert any search results in IMAP to mailing labels. Okay, so I just went back here, just a quick review. I've got my results from my search. I click Create Mailing Labels. I make any choices that I want to from this page here. Click Generate PDF, and there's your file. It's as easy as that. Quick and simple, easy way to create mailing labels using IMAP. Have a wonderful day, everyone. I'll see you next time.